Hey Health Nuts, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole and I'm so excited about today's video because I am sharing a farm boy grocery haul. If you've never heard of farm boy, it's kind of like the Canadian version of Trader Joe's. And since I can't go to Trader Joe's right now, I'm going to farm boy. Actually, one just opened up near us and I've been there. This is my third time going there. It's the cutest store. Everyone there is so friendly. Like the customer service is top notch. Um, they have a great variety of, you can pretty much get most of your groceries there. Um, it's like a health food store, but there's no supplement section. And what's really cool is they actually sell their own Farm Boy branded products as well as other things. So you, you can get like your regular groceries as well as their own home brand. A lot of their stuff is organic, high quality. Um, just like Trader Joe's, you have to look at the ingredients. Not everything is healthy, um, but look at the ingredients. I try to find some fun things that I'm really excited to try. And hopefully this video is informative uh, for you guys to actually see what they have available. And even if you're not Canadian, um, this will hopefully just give you some fun ideas on what to pick up at your next grocery shop. So before we hop in, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. It's free. I post on here every single week. There is a button down below. Click it, subscribe, join the HealthNet fam. Um, our family is growing, as you can probably tell, and we just want you to join. So yeah, make sure you subscribe and let's hop right into the video. So we just went this morning and it was really cute. They have their whole like fall pumpkin decor um, outside and we actually grabbed a couple pumpkins, <laughs> but it's just like the cutest shop. You guys have to check it out. Even like their flyers are really cute and I didn't, didn't really check out their sales because I was just like on there. I had a mission. I wanted to grab some really fun stuff to share with you guys. So um, I got the receipt. We will put the um, prices of everything in case you're wondering, because I know when you're going to a new grocery store, you're like, is it worth it? What's the cost? I know a lot of people ask me, so we're gonna put that on the screen. Uh, we spent a total of $206, which was kind of a lot. Um, but I did think we got some like, well, we did buy lunch as well. <laughs> there, they have like um, hot food that you can take out. So. I'll show you guys what we got. We got a little bit more meat items than we normally buy at the grocery store. Uh, so we'll just hop to it and um, get into it. All right, first thing, we got like the freezer section, which we got a variety of things that we just thought were cool, but that we actually like knew we would use. Um, so first thing, we got this tropical blend of frozen fruit. So this one has mango, pineapple, strawberries, kiwi, oh, and papaya. So this is really cool. I might make like a frozen yogurt with some fruit with this. I don't know. I'm just like really craving like fruit and like frozen things. I don't know. <laughs> it changes week by week. So I got that. And then I also thought this was kind of cool. This gave me total Trader Joe's vibes. This is rainbow veggie fries made with carrots, uh, parsnips and beetroot. So those are really great. I think when the baby comes, we can just pop this into the oven. It's ready to go and it takes um, like 20 minutes to crisp up, which is really nice. And then I was craving pierogies, and so I saw they had pierogies. These are made with fried onions, and they looked really good. Uh, the ingredients are great, super simple, um, so I liked that. And like I said, you have to check, because they do like add, just like anything, sometimes there's like extra sugar and stuff, so I always looked at the ingredients to look for like minimal ingredients, even if it had a little bit of sugar, um, you know, these are convenience foods, not what you want, like the majority of your like diet to, con um, to consist of. Also, I got some grass fed ground beef. My iron actually is a little bit low, so I'm on a higher dose of iron supplements and also um, it doesn't hurt to get a little bit more protein. So I'm gonna be making some like bolognese or like meatballs this week with pasta. And I really like this brand, Her Heritage Cattle Co. Um, they're not like farm boy brand, but um, I believe they're local and they're really good. I get their bone broth as well and it's chef's kiss, really good. Okay, then they had um, already marinated flattened or like butterflied chicken. Uh, this one is in tandoori flavor and it just looked really good. So we actually have some naan and I have this like butter chicken. 
um, sauce that I might make with like chickpeas and rice. So it could be like a whole kind of homemade Indian spread. And this is just gonna be like the perfect addition. So we got that. I like that it's marinated, ready to go. Whether we eat it before baby comes or after baby comes, it's like a really easy to make thing. Speaking of their marinated meats, we also got these lemon pepper chicken wings. Um, there's only 12 in here. Um, but they looked really good. I love lemon pepper. It's like one of my favorite spices on meats and these looked good. So we're gonna get those. We might have those tonight. I don't really know, but um, they, the butterfly chicken also comes in the lemon pepper flavor in case you're wondering. So we might get that one next time if we like it on the wings. Okay, then we got two different kinds of sausages. They have a whole like butcher area on the back and all of their stuff looks really good. They have pre-marinated stuff. And these ones here are the beet and feta sausages. I haven't tried these, but I did try this one already. This is their bratwurst one. And I'm so picky when it comes to sausages. I don't like if there's like weird things in them, like hard bits or fatty bits or like the bratwurst. Sometimes the flavor is off and I just, it's, I don't know. It's always hard to find a really, really good one. So I've tried these ones already. They are really good. So I got four more of them and then I got two of the beet and feta ones to try they looked like this really cool red color. So I thought, why not? We'll grab those. Then I saw some of this chicken orzo soup and I usually don't buy pre-made soups. There's like one brand that I usually buy that's really good, but I'm just like really picky. Unless it's like Amy's or Ma's Best. Um, I'm just not a fan of like pre-made store-bought soups because the ingredients aren't the greatest. So this one here, the ingredients were so good. It was like so simple. Everything was just like, chicken stock, vegetables, orzo, uh, spices, like you're done. This looks like homemade soup from Mama Health Nuts house. Like this honestly looks like the soup she just brought over yesterday. She made some turkey and wild rice soup and it was so good. Actually my brother, Brandon, shut up, best brother ever. He brought it over and it was delicious. So I'm gonna, I'm sure this isn't gonna compare but the ingredients were really good so I wanna try it. Okay, then for dips, um, I got a couple because they looked all really, really good. <laughs> Don't go to the grocery store when you're hungry because you just buy everything. So this one here, it says spicy. So maybe I'll have to eat this when I'm trying to induce labor in a couple weeks. Um, but this one here looked really good. It is a spicy edda yummy kale is what it's called. Basically it is edamame, uh, oil, kale, lemon juice, jalapeno, pepper, salt, garlic, pepper. Like, I don't know, it looked really cool. So it's an edamame like hummus. Edamame, edamame, I don't really know how you say it. Um, so I asked Matt like, are you gonna eat this if it's too spicy for me? And he said, yes, so we got that. Then I also got this Tunisian, Tunisian style hummus. I don't know, oh, and it's organic too, I did not know. Um, so this one looked pretty good, super simple ingredients. And I don't know what the spice is, there's kind of like a, like some coloring, like flex to it. There is organic parsley and spinach in it. Oh, that's really cool. Get my greens in my hummus. Um, I'm telling you these days, getting greens into my diet has been really, it's a struggle because all I want is bagels and cream cheese all day long. Um, and then I also got this tzatziki. Um, this one looked pretty simple ingredients. Um, I thought this would be really good with the sausages. I usually try to think of what I'm gonna eat things with when I'm at the grocery store and not just like shopping with my eyes and my stomach. Um, I really try to think like what I have at home and what this is gonna go with so it doesn't go bad. Then this is something that Matt and I have been, this is our third time buying this. It's an organic chicken pot pie from the company Yorkshire Valley Farms. Um, I think they're local, I'm not quite sure. Um, but fun fact, it is like $5 cheaper at Farm Boy than at the health food store. At the health food store, it was $16.99. Here it was $12.99, I think. And it's really good. It has, it's like obviously a more like a comfort food thing just to have on hand to throw in the oven. Um, but there's a lot of chicken in here. And that is my thing about store-bought chicken pot pie is like sometimes there's like two pieces of chicken in there and it's just like all sauce and I don't like it. So this one's really good. So we got that. Like I said, we're just trying to stock up on things for when baby gets here and we don't have time to like, you know, think about dinner. Luckily, my parents live around the corner. So I'm gonna be calling up Uber, Uber mama's house and <laughs> asking for meals. <laughs> they already know I gave them the heads up. So, um, when you order, they have this like hot dog and burger stand. You can get like Beyond Meat burgers on there. They're like really good burgers and hot dogs, like 
really, really good. So we actually had that for lunch today, but they have these pickles that are on the side and I don't know, they must sell them in the store. They're so good. Like, I, I don't even think they're dill pickles. I think they're like sour pickles. They're huge. And these are the only ones I can think, I don't even think these are it. I asked like three people in the store, like what are the pickles that you serve on the side of the hamburgers? And no one knew. Even the guy like flipping the burgers is like, uh, shows me like the, like just the container of pickles, but like no jar, no like label. He's like, I don't know. So I'm gonna have to like ask, keep asking someone cause I need to know where they're getting those pickles cause they're so good. Are you a dill or sour pickle person? That's what I want to know. These technically are whole dill pickles. I don't think the ones that come with the burgers are dill, but I just got these cause I just thought like they looked the closest thing to it and I was not leaving without getting like trying to find their pickles. I'll just like buy every pickle they have until I find it. Next up we have this dressing. Um, this is actually one of the first things I saw when we were walking into the store. And at first I was like, oh, like store-bought dressings, not my favorite thing. Although there's some brands that I've talked about before on my channel that I like, but you really gotta look at the ingredients. This one here is their original lemon garlic dressing. And when I turned it around, the ingredients are really, really good. Lemon juice, olive oil, garlic, sea salt, pepper. That's it. So um, I just like that. It's simple ingredients. Um, it just saves you from having to mix it up yourself. I, you know, I like to make homemade dressing when I can, but like I said, baby on the way, this is great. Then I got, this looked really cool. I usually just use straight up nutritional yeast or my almond flour parm from the Health Nut Cookbook. It is the best hack for making a super quick vegan or plant-based Parmesan cheese. Um, but this one here is Parmesan, Zan, I don't know how I'm supposed to say that. It's a sunflower seed based Parmesan cheese substitute. I thought this looked really cool and I'm gonna try it. It's sunflower seeds, nutritional yeast, flax seeds, garlic, ginger, hemp seeds, and sea salt. Super healthy, super clean ingredients. So I'm gonna give that a try. I thought I would share that because I thought it was just like a cool product. Um, I got just two cans of beans. I, if you saw my like nesting video, I have a lot of beans right now. So I just got two, I think I'm low on red kidney beans, which I love for soups. They're just so creamy. And then I also got this four bean medley blend, uh, medley blend, and it's just four beans in here. And yeah, they're just organic. I can't remember how much these were, but I feel like they were, you know, what? I have no idea. I did not look, that was my bad, but you'll know from the screen. Then for some produce, we didn't get a ton of produce because we're pretty good right now, but I got bananas, which I know sounds like a basic thing to get, but their banana stand is so cute. They got this little like swinging monkey at the top and he's like, I feel like I'm like picking up bananas from the monkey. Like, thank you monkey sir for your bananas. I appreciate it. And he's just really cute. So it's like those little details at a grocery store that really like they get to me, you know? So Mr. Monkey gave me some bananas. I got some organic, oh my God, this belly is getting too big to lean over. I got two avocados. Um, these are organic. They were on like a special. Are you one of those people? Let me know if you're one of those people that you stare at the screen when the cashier is like ringing everything through because you just, you're checking, double checking the prices. And like, I don't know if it's something that my mom instilled into me as a young child, cause she'd always be like, oh, can you put this stuff on the conveyor belt while I, and she'd like want to watch the screen. And you have to, because there's, I swear every single time there's one thing that gets rung up that's wrong. And these were ringing up as 575 and I was like, no ma'am. Those are two for five. And then actually a girl behind me that works there, she was like cashing out herself and she's like, oh no, no, those are the non-organic. I'm like, no girl, they're the organic. I saw two for five organic. And then actually I was right. But there's times where I'm not right and it's fine. I'm not like annoying about it, but like 75 cents is 75 cents. So like I look at the screen cause I wanna make sure, you know, that's why I bought them. If, if they were like $3 each, I would have put them back. So anyways. Just a fun fact, look at the screen. There's a lot of stores that will actually give you like the product for free if they messed up on the price. I don't think Farm Boy is one of them. So Matt got this bread, organic sourdough. It's a special, I guess it was on sale. He loves a good deal, I've said this before. He's like, oh, I think we should try this bread. I'm like, why, because it's on sale? <laughs> but that's totally cool. I think um, it's expiring tomorrow, so we're probably gonna, eat a slice today and then put the rest in the freezer. Bread freezes really well. Like if your bread is about to go bad, throw it in the freezer and you can just pop it right into the toaster from there. 
I also got some olives. These looked really good. I'm like, I mean, I was into olives before being pregnant and I'm like really into them now. They're just like a really quick snack and I just crave them. I can just like eat them throughout the day. This I thought was really interesting. It's diced garlic scapes. And to be honest, I don't know if I've eaten a garlic scape. I know it's like a, um, a farmer's market thing. They're in season at a certain time. I see them everywhere. They're like long green onions that are like curl up and stuff. And they look delicious, but I don't think I've ever purchased them before. So this is like them like diced up in like a marinade. It's just, um, on oh, it's Ontario too. I bet a lot of farm boy stuff is like local. Uh, Ontario garlic scapes, water, white vinegar, coarse sea salt, and lemon juice. And it says that it's really good added to pasta and potato salads, tuna, egg, and chopped tomato salads. Excellent garnish served with fresh cod smoked, cold smoked fish. Mm, lost me on that last bit. But um, I just thought this looked really yummy and I was like, I like green onion and I feel like it has a similar flavor and I just think it'd be like a fun little like condiment to add to things for flavor. And then over here, I just got, I mean, nothing crazy, peanut butter, you know, planning on making some peanut butter cookies cause I'm um, just craving some more like sweets lately. So I'm trying to like make them at home because it's better made at home than store bought. That being said, <laughs> I did get some peanut butter cookies. <laughs> These looked really good. Uh, they're just the, oh, I didn't know they're vegan, but they're vegan peanut butter cookies. Um, really simple ingredients. They just, they do have regular sugar in them, but they didn't seem too high. And they had flaxseed, like the ingredient, there's like five ingredients in them. So I'm gonna try one of these after this video because they look really good. And then we have, what do we have here? Oh, sunflower seeds. These were a really good price. They were like two something and they're just raw sunflower seeds and organic. And if you guys saw my foods I eat every week while pregnant, this is one of them. So good, I like can't get enough of sunflower seeds. They're like crunchy, they're delicious, they're full of magnesium, which I found out after, and they're like a staple. Then, of course, I checked the spice section, because if you go to Trader Joe's, they're like known for their fun spices. So I thought, what's Farm Boy got to offer? And they had a really wide selection, although I have so many spices in my cover, so I didn't want to go crazy, but I wanted to try one. This is their spicy garlic, Oh, I didn't realize it was spicy, but that makes sense because there's red pepper flakes in it. Once again, inducing labor foods. <laughs> this one here is just sea salt, garlic, crushed red pepper, all dehydrated. So I like that it's like all whole spices and you just grind them up and you can just like probably top off your dish with this, use it as a marinade. I don't know how spicy it's gonna be, but I use a lot of uh, red um, pepper flakes in my, in my cooking, so. Also these, we've already tried them before. They're really good. They do like these homemade like fried chips. They're delicious. They're like super crunchy. Um, they have a couple different flavors. This is the sea salt, but they're just potato chips that they make there and they're yummy. So we got some of that. Then I got a perfect bar. Um, they're kind of expensive there. I think it was like $3.99. It's just, this is like my favorite flavor and I don't see it anywhere. So this is the chocolate chip peanut butter. It's so good. It's one that you actually refrigerate, although it's good out of the fridge for like, I think a week. Um, I might put this in my hospital bag as a little snack because it's very filling, but it just tastes like cookie dough. It's like really, really good. It's like whole food ingredients. And then Mr. Matt got some pepperoni slims. This is beef, naturally wood smoked. Um, yeah, I mean, I did not approve this. It has corn syrup in it, so I probably wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> Normally, like Matt picks out like things. I'll be like, Matt, this has like red food dye in here. We can't eat this. You know, I try not to like dictate what he eats, but I'll like tell him to look at the ingredients and he can ultimately make his own choices. But yeah, like I, I probably wouldn't eat this, but he did get this, so you know. Um, I'm sure he did not look at the ingredients. And then I got a papaya because we're doing this week's belly photo shoot, which is, that's a whole video that's coming like after baby's here, get ready. We're doing like a transformation video. Uh, so we're doing a papaya week <laughs> this week. And then I also just got some pumpkins cause they had such a cute little pumpkin display outside. I think these are actual pumpkin pie pumpkins. So you could like cook these up and make them into pie. I don't have that time. I have like, pre-canned organic pumpkin puree. 
Um, but these will be cute just for decor and stuff. And then also we'll be using this for the baby bump when she, fun fact, baby acorn is gonna be the size of a pumpkin on Halloween week. How funny is that? I know, it just worked out perfectly. So we have that for that. I got two of them. And I think that is everything that we got at Farm Boy. So leave me a comment down below if you have heard about Farm Boy, if you've been to one, um, if you have one in your area, I would love to know. I'm just trying to do some more like Canadian grocery stores. Um, so I thought it would be really cool to share with you guys some products that I picked up from here. I will have a poll in the top right hand corner for you guys to vote on the next store that I will do a grocery haul from because I know you guys really love these videos and I love any excuse to go to a grocery store, shop around and buy food. So I'm happy to, I'm happy to take one for the team. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I got Mr. Matt here. We're gonna actually try the peanut butter cookies. Oh, okay. And they make it seem like when they're calling me over, it's gonna be bad. No, I only yeah, want you to, to no. You're like, oh, let's get Matt to try this. It'll be funny. I'm like, okay. I did tell him that there's corn syrup in his beef jerky. And he's like, oh, no. I didn't check. I looked, I just didn't notice. No. Okay, let's try one. Oh, they're vegan. Yeah, I know. Oh. I don't know. Oh, they smell good. Mm -hmm. Oh, crumbly. Hmm. No, Cashew, it's not your kind of peanut butter cookie. <laughs> Cashew's crying. They're pretty good. A little like drier and dr like <clears throat> probably good to eat with like a cup of milk or water or something. Yeah. A little, a little dry. Their flavor's but good though. Flavor's good. Mm -hmm. I prefer I prefer my peanut butter cookies. They're like chewier yeah. and fudgier. Of course. They're the best. Also, while I have Matt, perfect segue. If you guys did not know, Matt actually just started, he's a YouTube star now. Matt. <laughs> he just started his own nope. channel. Yes, I did. Yeah. yeah. How, how do you feel? Much to the help of Nicole and Chloe, I was able to do a video. I just powdered your face. That's no, all I did. Lots of help. So, I'm excited for it. Make sure um, to go check it out if you want. It's going to be about real estate, entrepreneurship, side hustles, all that kind of businessy fun stuff that we're, we're passionate about, but we don't really share on here. So make sure you go check it out and let me know what you think. Yeah, I'll leave a link down below. Go check out his channel, subscribe. We're gonna- All that stuff. Yeah, all Likes that stuff. Thumbs up. Yeah, whatever. All the stuff that the YouTubers say. Okay, I'm gonna eat cookies and put this all away, but have a fabulous day. Thanks for watching. Ciao.